everyone, this review is going to be for Too Faced brand new semi-sweet chocolate bar eyeshadow palette which has just released. So as I always do in all of my swatch review videos, this video will include live swatches where I show you all of the colors and how they apply and then I will share with you my thoughts on my first impressions for the palette and after I have more fully tested the shadows in this palette and worn them, I will put up a written review on the site at AllureBeauty.com. The link to that once it's up will be in the description box below for you to check out. And as always, the description box includes sneak peeks to upcoming MAC collections and a link to the blog sale if you'd like to purchase anything from there, especially for the holiday season. I will be adding a bunch of holiday items to the blog sale. Another awesome thing is that this time around, I have a brand new semi-sweet chocolate bar to give away to one lucky viewer that is subscribed to the channel. There are a couple of other requirements, so just stay tuned in the video to make sure that you know how to enter to win. Okay, so this is the design for the box that the palette comes in and the case itself looks like this and it looks very similar to the original chocolate bar eyeshadow palette and this costs $49. If you are a Sephora VIB or Sephora VIB Rouge member, then you can purchase this right now online at Sephora. I will put a link to where you can find it. Sometimes it's harder to find items that are only VIB exclusives currently. And if you are not a VIB or VIB Rouge member, this palette will launch at Sephora for all purchasers on December 15th online. Okay, let's get looking at live swatches for all of the eyeshadows in this chocolate bar palette. So here's a slightly closer look at the packaging like with the original chocolate bar palette. It comes in this brown tin metal case that looks kind of like a chocolate bar. It closes via a magnet and it has a mirror inside of the lid and inside you get a total of 16 different eye color shades, two of which take up the size of more than two of the other eyeshadow pans. So they are more like all over base or perhaps even highlighting shades just depending on how you want to use them. And I'm going to just swatch these by row. So for the first row we'll start with licorice, then we have coconut cream, nougat, truffled, and hot fudge. So here is licorice. This is a matte black. Here's coconut cream, which is an off-white, also with a matte finish. Nougat, which is a very pale, kind of muted, pinky, not quite peach, kind of like a dusty, very pale pink. This also has a matte finish. Next up is Truffled, which is a medium brown. It's fairly neutral, maybe slightly warm toned, again with a matte finish. And Hot Fudge, which is a neutral, deeper brown. And this one has subtle, lighter brown shimmer. Okay, here's your first row of colors. For the first three shades, I actually went back and added a second lighter layer of color. For the second row, we'll look at Cocoa Chili, Pink Sugar, Puddin', Blueberry Swirl, Peanut Butter, and Frosting. Here's Cocoa Chili, which is a medium milk chocolate brown with gold shimmer. Next is Rum Raisin, which is pretty much sparkle, and it's a bunch of silvery pink sparkle without much underlying color. Here's a second layer of it. Next is Puddin, which is a soft, cool toned, kind of taupey brown. It's layer two, this has a matte finish. Here's Blueberry Swirl, which is a pretty deep teal blue shade. Then I'm adding a second layer. This has a metallic finish. Here's Peanut Butter, which is a very warm toned orangey brown color. Might not even see it's really brown. It's more of a, 
an orange shade with a brown undertone and frosting which is a medium shimmering bronzy brown okay here are the colors in row two then in the last row we have rum raisin mousse caramel bonbon and butter pecan here we have rum raisin which is another shimmering soft champagne brown mousse which is a soft matte brown adding a second layer to that caramel is a frosty very warm toned sort of orangey coppery shade with a metallic finish and bonbon bon is more of a peachy copper again with a metallic finish and last up is buttercream which is a soft pale cream shade with a slightly metallic or shimmering finish all right and here are the shades from the bottom third row so after doing those swatches and testing this on my eyes, the eyeshadow look that I have right now is using the shades in the eyeshadow palette. I was actually a little disappointed. Now I have never owned or tested the original chocolate bar palette, which I know is pretty much a cult favorite for a lot of people. So I don't have that to compare to. But I'm kind of guessing that a lot of people who try the semi-sweet eyeshadow palette may not like it as much as the original. So just to tell you on my eyes, the shades that I tested were Nougat, which I put in a large area of the crease for blending purposes, Mousse to be a darker shade in the crease to define it, on the lids, I used Pink Sugar because I really wanted to see what was up with this shade. It didn't swatch very well. When I applied it dry, it had so much fallout and it was very similar to the way it swatched. So I actually applied it with a damp brush and it's much better when applied with a damp brush. So anyone who owns this palette and is trying to use that shade, I would recommend dampening your brush before applying it. Then on the outer V corner, I used uh, Rum Raisin. And for the lower lash line here, again, because I wanted to really test out this color, I used Bon Bon. And then in the inner lower lash line, I put Caramel. And under the brow bone and blended to where I started in the crease color, I used Coconut Cream. So those are just a sampling of the shades that I used. Now I will say that on application, I liked the way that the texture of the eyeshadows performed on the lids, the way that they blended out and the way that they patted onto the lids better than what I saw while I was swatching the shades. So please stay tuned to AllureBeauty.com for the written review that I do because I'm going to continue testing out the shades in this palette and creating different looks and making sure that I test all of the shades actually applied on the eyes to see how they perform and if they're a little better than what was swatched. Because from what you could see in the swatches, the matte shades, I felt like I had to put on a couple of layers to really get a smooth and more intense layer of color. And the blue shade, the blueberry swirl color, and like I already mentioned, the pink sugar color, really were not as smooth and effortless as I wanted them to be. So blueberry swirl definitely test by packing it on the lids and kind of seeing if I can get a really intense teal shade out of it and pink sugar I've kind of already figured out that it works much better when applied wet so there are just my initial thoughts on the palette itself 
as of right now, it's not a palette that I would give an A rating right now. I'm kind of guessing that it is more in the range of a B or a B plus palette just because it's not as effortless as I wanted it to be. If I think about other palettes that I have, like the Lorac Pro palettes that are so effortless to use, the colors are just so rich, as well as the formula being really creamy and soft for all of the shades. Compared to those, I wouldn't say that this semi-sweet palette is on par with those A or A plus types of palettes. But I will continue to test it and refine my thoughts on every single shade in here so that I can give you a very accurate concluding grade or thought on the palette in the written review. Okay, so to win your own very brand new semi-sweet chocolate bar palette, because I know a lot of you will be dying to get your hands on this palette, especially for the holiday season, make sure, of course, that you're subscribed to this channel if you are not already. And please also like Allura on Facebook and follow on Twitter. So those are the three requirements. If I choose you as the winner, I will ask you to send me screenshots to confirm that you are following on the two social media platforms as well as being subscribed to the channel. If you'd like to leave a comment, that would also be great so that I know what your thoughts are on this palette. If you have it already and you've been testing it, what you think in comparison to my initial impressions of the palette itself. And especially if you already own the original, chocolate bar palette I would love to see what you think specifically of the comparison between the quality of the first one and the quality of this new semi-sweet chocolate palette. Okay I hope that you enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful to see those swatches and that it kind of helps you decide whether you want to get your hands on this palette yourself and good luck to everyone who enters to win the palette please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! If you've watched any of my empties videos, you will know how much I rave about this product. It is an acid that is in here and it really helps brighten and just sort of luminize the complexion of your skin. Of course, it will work the way AHA is supposed to in terms of gradually uh, reducing the pigmentation, hyperpigmentation that you may have or like sunspots that you may have and other anti-aging benefits.